Hey, it's Mike from Backyard Boat Works, and my winter project has been to build the uh, CLC's Tenderly 10-foot dinghy. Uh, the last video we had just finished putting the inside rail on, and so this video I'm hoping to finish putting the outer rail on, and we'll see how far it goes. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to do the last outer rail, and what I'm going to do is put some epoxy on this and we will start I'm going to anchor it at the very tip up here with a screw and then we'll slowly bend it on around the outer the other outer rail and put clamps on it and um, that should finish it up so right now first thing we're going to do is put some nice a nice good heavy coat of epoxy without trying to get epoxy on everything else. All right. Alright, that'll at least get me going here. Now, what I'm going to try to do is bend this and put a screw in. First I'm going to drill. And this is going to be drilled in an area where it's going to end up getting cut off. So this is just kind of the whole... this in place until it dries and then eventually we will be cutting off around the front and rounding this yeah. gets a little slippery when you get the epoxy on there too bad that'll hold it keep bending this on around actually one of these clamps and I think I'll put a big clamp there but I can't grab one right at the moment so I'm gonna put a smaller clamp back here at the first station and I want to try to get this up to it there it's the same height Okay, let me go for a big clamp. At this, right here at the um, breast hook. And see if I can pull it up just a hair. Once I kind of get this started, I think it'll continue. All right, and I'm getting good squeeze out further back, or from, from there on back. Yeah.
Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to coat quite a bit more of this next time. Okay, I'm getting a good squeeze out. I kind of like that, although that's going to be a pain to clean up, but uh, at least it makes, shows that I'm getting a good, good connection with glue or epoxy in there. Okay, you can see the good squeeze out that I'm getting. So it is on there. 
Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of cleanup to get rid of all this excess epoxy before it hardens and have to sand it. But uh, that's looking good. Thank you. Okay. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of squeeze out. So before this gets too hard, I want to do some cleanup, and I'm just going to take a little. This makes this is a whole lot easier than sanding it, and I will just continue on down the line, trying to clean up as much as I can. Okay, and let's look on the bottom side here. There's probably tons of squeeze out at the bottom. As you can see, I'm getting And that would be a real pain to try to sand. I'm going to have to do some sanding anyway, but the, the less sanding you have, the way better off you're going to be. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I glued the last of the outer rail on. So now I'm going to pop all the clamps off. <coughs> that one was tight. Nothing moved is always good. Pretty nice, if I have to say so. Uh, so now I need to do some sanding and rounding of the edges and stuff. Oh, and I need to probably the first thing I need to do is trim off the uh, extra here at the transom. <laughs> Now we're going to round off the corners of that. Okay, so I've got this little plastic drinking glass and I'm going to use it for the radius of the uh, stern rail here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. This looks like probably a good spot to end this video. Um, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And um, hopefully we'll catch you on the next videos. And eventually we'll get this thing in the water. So uh, till then, we'll see you. Thank you.